Chandu, the magician. Next Monday at this same time, the makers of White King will continue the thrilling story of Chandu, the magician. And tomorrow, Saturday, when you do your weekend shopping, be sure at the head of the list, you write the words, White King. You'll like White King for washing clothes and for washing dishes, too. There is something about a dishpan full of nice, warm soap suds that makes a woman feel that her dishes will come out really clean. Every tiny granule dissolves completely in your dishwater, whips up to billowy clouds of suds. And White King suds rinse away quickly and completely, too, when you douse your dishes with hot water. Leave china, glassware, and silver so extra bright they dry in a jiffy. White King soap is extra kind to hands, too. It is so easy on lovely hands that thousands and thousands of ladies who use it say, I love White King. Yes, indeed, for washing clothes or dishes, you'll love White King. In his disguise as Fuad, the Egyptian sorcerer, Frank Chandler goes to Roxor's rooms to rescue Princess Naji, whom Roxor plans to have drowned in the Nile within the hour. Abdallah, the young Bedouin chief who is working with Chandler while pretending he is still one of Roxor's agents, inadvertently addresses Chandler as Chandu. Immediately, Roxor shouts for all his Arab men. There is a terrific struggle, during which Abdallah is stabbed. It is the following morning. Chandler comes out of the room in Naji's home to which Abdallah has been taken. Chandu, the magician. Oh, Frank, I'm so sorry for all the things I've said about Abdallah. Well, you couldn't know. Why, Naji told me if he hadn't been there, that Arab would have stabbed you. If Abdallah hadn't been there, neither Naji nor I would have come back from Roxor's. Oh! <gasps> It rained Arabs from everywhere when Roxor called them. Oh, but then what did Abdallah mean? He kept saying over and over, I ask your forgiveness, Chandu. No, he meant it was his fault that Roxor discovered who I was. Frank, Roxor and all those Arabs, and only you and Abdallah against them. And Naji on our hands besides. Well, there's one thing sure. If Abdallah does recover, he deserves to be decorated by every nation on earth. What? I haven't sent word to the council yet, but the chances are Roxo is dead. Oh, Frank, you didn't tell me that. I hardly dare to believe it myself. The world rid of him almost by accident. Oh, I suppose it's wonderful, but... When the fight started, Abdullah and I had tied Roxo in his chair. I thought we could get Naji away by the time Roxo made his Arabs understand what was going on. The place was full of smoke. Smoke? From what? Oh, it was a demonstration of magic I'd made to impress Roxo. The smoke was so thick, none of them could see just where we were. But if it wasn't real smoke... Oh, but it was. And it gave Abdullah a big idea. He set fire to the heavy curtains. Oh, Frank. Well, I'm going down there after a while, see just what did happen. If Roxor's dead, the whole world can relax for the first time since... Oh, I know I ought to be glad about that, and I suppose I am. But it... Frank, if he's dead, we'll... We'll never find Robert, never. It's not impossible, Dot. Someone must know where that secret hiding place is. But how can you... You can't keep a man prisoner for nine years without guards. Oh, I mean, starting all over again. If only you'd found out where he is before all this began. And Roxor was going to tell me today, after Naji had been disposed of. Today? Only one day. I know how you feel, Dot. But this isn't the end. We'll go to Algiers just as we'd planned. There must be some way. Yes? What is it, Abu? Abdallah has asked to speak to you, Effendi. Oh, is he awake? It is so, Sid. I want to speak to him too, Frank. Well, why don't you wait here until I see what he wants? Well, if there's anything at all I can do... I'll call you, Don. The star of Abdallah's life is very low in the heavens, Chandu. Well, but he's young. Desert men are very strong, you know, Abu. 
there is an end to being strong. Abdallah himself knows that... He'll hear you. Wait out here, Abu. Well, Abdallah, we've been wondering if you'd be waking up pretty soon. I... I ask your forgiveness, Chandu. If I must pay with my life for what I have done, it is well. Now, Abdallah, I've told you before, there's nothing to forgive. If you hadn't given me away, something or somebody else probably would have. So don't send your temperature up worrying about it. You are kind, Chandu. We got Naji out of there. And you were fine with Roxor about that, Abdullah. And you know I wouldn't have gone on forever pretending to be for Arden. It's all right. If I must die, I ask you for one favor. I'll do anything I can for you. I needn't tell you that. But you're not going to die. We'll have you out of here and on your horse in a week. No, Chandu. It is the end of life for me. Nonsense. I know it, Chandu. You, you will call the lady your sister? Certainly. Abu, ask Mrs. Regent to come in here, will you? Hey, why, Pendy? Are you in pain, Abdallah? I'll send for the doctor again. No. No, I do not suffer pain. But I know I am never to see my people again. Never to ride into the sunrise. What can I do, Frank? Abdallah, we can never repay you. My brother would have been killed, and Naji too. Chandu is my friend. Chandu, you will... Write a letter for me to my father. Of course. There's paper on the desk there, Frank. Come here. Just a moment, Abdullah. Now, what do you want me to say? To my father, Amin Mitkail, on whom be peace. I, thy only son, am about to die. Oh, no, Abdallah. Write it, Chandu. Because I love one who may not be given to me. I do not regret that death has come when I am young. Abdallah, this is nonsense. Don't write such a letter to your father. You'll break his heart for nothing. You need not send the letter if I... Yes, Frank, write it. You're only worrying him by trying to persuade him. The sister of Jandu, you will permit that I give some of my beautiful things to Miss Betty Lou? Why, I don't know, Abdallah. What is it you want to give her? I have a chest filled with jewels. Rubies, emeralds, golden anklets. I thought to see... Betty Lou, my little white flower, in my garden, her hands like butterflies. Betty Lou. Frank, he's wearing himself Betty off. Lou. I agree. Abdallah, you want my brother to write a note to your father saying that if you should, shouldn't get well, Betty's to have your chest of jewels. Is that it? It is so, sister of Chandu. Then don't worry about it anymore. He'll write it for you. And you're going to sleep again. You can sign the letter when you wake up. Let me fix that pillow for you. Ah. There. Is that better? Betty Lou. Betty Lou. We'll send for her in a moment, Abdallah. All right, Dot? I'll call her. Don't try to talk to her, Abdallah. You're too tired. Please. The letter. I'll have it all ready for you. Betty. Here I am, Mother. Is Abdallah going to be all right? Oh, we hope so. He wants to see you. Oh. But don't let him talk. He's very weak. And don't let him think we're worried about him. Oh, I won't. Uncle Frank, are you worried? Abdallah isn't going to die. Go on in. Make some excuse to leave after a few minutes. I will, Mother. 
Uncle Frank will be in my room if Abdallah wants him. Good morning, Abdallah. Ah, I hope you're feeling better. Little white rose. To look at you is to forget pain. Oh. Well, I I'll sit down for just a minute. Only you're not supposed to talk. Oh, you were wonderful last night. You saved my uncle's life. It's like a story. Betty Lou, Abdullah's story is almost ended. When the tale is told, you will not forget. You ought to know I'll never forget what you did. None of us will. Betty Lou. But don't talk about that. Even... In paradise, your eyes will give me life. <gasps> Look at me, Mimosa Blossom. Abdallah, oh, don't. I want to see you last of all. Oh, no. You will not forget. I, I'm not going to listen if you talk about dying, Abdallah. I came in to cheer you up. And, well, just to show you I don't forget, my friends, I'm going to sing you that song of yours. Oh, your, your voice is the soft wind across a road. Now, just listen. See if I have it right. In the garden, jasmine flower, where the perfumed fountains trill, see thy lover's arms await thee. Come, my heart, with rapture fill. Where the lightest footstep lies, blossom. before we say good evening to suggest that you and your family listen to Chandu every weekday evening at this time. And for your family wash, we'd like to have you try the soap we make, White King Granulated Soap. If you think that a washing machine soap should make suds, plenty of rich, thick, energetic suds, then you'll love White King. For White King makes plenty of suds, suds that stay up even when your wash water cools down. And White King suds are so full of wash day energy, they wash your clothes clean and wash them fast. Why, even your most badly soiled bath towels, your food-stained table linens, and the youngsters' grimy play togs come clean in White King's rich, creamy suds. So on your radio for thrills and adventure... Remember to listen to Chandu the Magician every weekday evening. And in your weekly wash, remember to use White King granulated soap. Nothing washes like soap, and there is no soap like White King for your washing machine. Chandu the Magician is presented for your enjoyment every weekday evening. Betty Lou Regent is played by Joy Terry, Abdallah by Larry Dobkin. Your announcer is Howard Culver. The makers of White King invite you to listen Monday at this time when the story resumes. Chandu, the magician. This is the Mutual Don Lee Broadcasting System. <laughs>